All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Ruchakodash. I give double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone and peace and blessings. Shalom to the Most High as elect across the four winds of the earth. This is a Brother Yagadal Amar from GMS Houston, back with another lesson. And before I get started, I just want to make the statement that, man, Christians are freaking nuts, man. Okay, whenever you hear a conversation in between some Christians or listen to one speaking about the Christianity, all right, the Christianity they believe in, it's completely bonkers, man. And they contradict each, themselves with every uh, uh, other statement that they make, okay? They don't bring out the scriptures and they try to center everything around every uh, Jesus' love. Okay, when the scriptures, there's no way you can compile that conclusion when you get into these scriptures, man. Okay, all right, they make the statement that uh, Jesus is not about uh, division. Well, I don't know what Jesus is about, but Yahweh Shai is all about division, and he's about balance, uh, like his father of love uh, and hate, man. Okay, so uh, Lord willing to be some edification in this video, and uh, I want to start off with uh, Matthew chapter 10 and verse uh, Salakia. Let me grab it. Con, this is uh, Matthew chapter 13 and verse 9. It says, Whoso who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Now I wanted to open up with this because how do we receive life, okay? How will we raise from the dead spiritually, man, through this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding? So if you how was shy, uh, directly stated that he didn't intend for everybody to get this understanding that mean everybody uh, of Israel at this time wasn't set to receive life man okay so I want to uh, jump over to uh, Matthew chapter 10 all right because everybody uh, they these Christians they claim that the Lord he died for everybody all right he has love for everybody no there's no division it's all peace but that don't add up. Why would he uh, teach in parables so that some people were uh, set to not get it, man? Okay, when this word is life. Okay, so it wasn't meant for everybody to receive life in this time, man. Okay, so uh, uh, this is uh, Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34. It says, think not that I am come to send peace on earth, but uh, so like I am, I come, I came not to send peace, but a sword. Verse 35, it says, but. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his household. So this is going to be the judgment that's going to come to the ones who's not set to um, uh, to receive this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, man. Because the ones that, uh, that take hold to this word are not going to be a uh, 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 fallen victim to these judgments, man. Okay? So, Yahweh Shai, uh, uh and this is all ordained and, and from the, his father, all right, the most high power, Yahweh, okay, that this word wasn't meant for everybody, all right, because this word is going to be our protection, our guidance, everything that we need in the times to come. But for the people who don't have it, they're going to be susceptible to all these plagues, pestilences, and the judgments that are set to come here, man, okay? So that's why the Lord didn't want everybody to get it. Why? Because there's certain people of Israel who's got a large number of people of Israel who's going to receive a judgment, a judgment, man. All right. But if they had this word, then no, that means they will receive repentance, uh, uh, receive uh, forgiveness, man. OK, well, I want to get this word in the Greek uh, for the word variance in verse 35 real quick. All right, because uh, <laughs> I heard the Christian nut earlier say that uh, the, the Lord is not about uh, division. Okay, so the word variance is G1369. It says, Dikazo. It says, to cut into two parts, cleave asunder, sever. Simple and plain, man. Okay, now the Lord is in control of all things, man. So you, so if these judgments are going to come on the people, it's because the Lord said it so, man. 
Okay. All right. But let these Christians, man, don't the, the your best bet and, and not even a bet. Don't waste no time trying to bring a Christian out of that madness, man. If they deep into that, especially an old bottle, man. Okay, let them uh continue on in their folly, man. So lock it. Give me one second. Con, this is a uh, Saint John chapter um six and fifty one because I spoke on the fact that the Lord, all right, not giving this word to everybody or giving the understanding to everybody shows that he uh didn't intend for everybody to be saved, man. All right, he didn't, and this is uh stri strictly to Israel, man. Okay, the Lord wasn't coming and speaking to no heathens, man. He was speak coming sp and coming to Israelites, man. Okay. So it's letting you know, first off, the other nations have no place in this when it comes to salvation and his knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay. So if that's already, that's division in itself, but we I'm keying in on a division amongst Israel that the Lord set in place, man. Okay. So if he said in Matthew uh, 13 and nine, that uh, it wasn't meant for them to get it. Okay. So let's read this real quick. This is John 6 and 51. It says, I am the living bread, which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world, man. Okay. So we already know what it's talking about here, man. Okay. It's letting you know, first of all, everybody's not worthy of that living bread right now, man. Okay. That's why he didn't give the understanding to everybody, man. Okay, but you got these nuts steady talking about there's no division. The Lord is not about that. Well, you don't know the scriptures, man. It's best you go warm up a hot pocket and get ready for destruction. Just another uh, scripture to back that point up, man. And it's clearly evident the Lord is not dealing with everybody, man. And the earth wouldn't be in this condition if the Lord was about this, man. And if, and if the Lord was all love, how can you believe in heaven and hell, man? All right, if the Lord was all love, then there would be no hell, man, which there is no no hell, no mystical place where you burn forever, man. All right, that's not the uh, 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 a merciful God wouldn't do that, man. Okay, so this is uh, John 8 and 12. It says, Then spake Yahweh Shai again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life, man. Okay. So that's the vision, man, by the Lord not teaching uh, 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 plainly to everybody as he did with the men that were set to receive this understanding. Then that means he wasn't sent to give life unto everyone, man. OK, all that turn your other cheek and all that madness, man, uh, the people that the people of Israel who cried for the Lord to be uh, crucified, OK, of a Barabbas are going to be destroyed in this time, man. OK, and that's what they asked for. It said, let our blood be upon our hands and our children's hands, which we are our children through reincarnation, man. OK, so if the Lord was about uh, uh, wasn't about division, then he wouldn't have spoken parables and dark sentences, man. All right. He would have made it plain so everybody can get it and everybody can receive life, man. But that's not what the Lord is about, man. OK, and these people that's uh uh. That's uh coming up against the Lord, man. I want to get that because it's uh always as soon as it come up about division, all right. Uh, uh, Matthew ten and Luke twelve always come up, man. All right, because he said even um people in their own household, man. I brought it out in Matthew, so I'm gonna get the same uh account or uh uh scripture, all right, in uh Luke twelve, and that should be fifty one. Yeah, the Lord does have enemies, man. Okay? The Lord does have enemies, man. All right, this is Luke 12 and 51. It says, Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you, nay, but rather division. All right? And when you go into a red letter Bible, this is red letter right here. This is Yahweh Shah speaking. Okay? It says, For henceforth, henceforth, there shall be five in one household divided, Three against two and two against three, man. Okay. First of all, the most high power, all right, Yahweh, he didn't give uh everybody unto the Lord, man. He gave him a certain uh certain men, all right, 
all right, that were going to follow him, man. Okay, and that's what this thing is all about. People want to argue about there's no uh, division, but all throughout the New Testament, you hear about the, uh, the elect and the men that were set to follow Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. Uh, give me one quick second. That's a good part. And the Lord is, uh, I'm going to jump up a few verses from where I wanted to start because I see the word of division again, man. Okay. Um, I'll start at 14, man. Uh, this is John 10 and 14. It says, I am the good shepherd and know, and, and know my sheep and am known of my, of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so now know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep, and other sheep I have which are not of this foal. There's the vision again, man. Okay? Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and they shall be one fold and one shepherd, man. The ones that were going to hear, the sheep that were set to hear the voice of, and the calling of Yahweh Shai to do what? To handle the ministry, man. To wake up and prophesy, man. Do you see all of Israel prophesying? Okay? And then even amongst the men who have woken up in Israel, everybody having received that full breath or the full understanding of the will of the Heavenly Father and what this thing is about, man. Because uh, majority, a lot of these guys are not prophesying or teaching the full truth, man. Okay? So, um, where was that? Uh, verse 17, it says, Therefore doth my Father love me, because I laid down my life, and might take it again, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, uh, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. The commandment have, the, this commandment have I received of my father, man. Okay, and that was one of the key points I wanted as well, because, all right, Yahweh Shah was in complete order and understood the will of his father, man. And that's all he came to do. Okay. It says there was division, therefore, again, among the Jews for these sayings, man. So the teachings of Yahweh Shai itself caused division, man. Okay. Because everybody wasn't going to gravitate unto the truth. Why do you think they wanted, they cried to have him crucified, man? Okay. All right, so everything that happened is justified. Division is, and separation is justified in the eyes of the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai. Why? They are the ones creating it. This is the most highest will for it to be divisions and separations on all different levels, man. Okay, it says, and many of them said, he hath a devil and is mad. Why hear ye him? And this was <laughs> the same thing you hear today from these Christian nuts, man. All right, y'all work. Y'all not speaking of the word of God. You got to say God. All right. No, they want to say you got a devil in you, man. Okay. This is what they said of our Lord and Savior, man. Okay. When he was speaking the words of the heavenly father. Okay. It says, others said, these are not the words of him that hath the devil. Can a devil open the eyes of the blind? Okay. Now, the crazy thing is you have one of these Christians tell you that there's no divisions uh, Jesus is all love. We all supposed to come together and all this madness. And if you go to your enemy, you can turn him around when he see your actions. But you spend your whole time in the midst of a debate to prove your point. So you're contradicting yourself with that, man. Okay. So when the truth of the word comes out, there's going to be people who's going to gravitate to it. And, and receive life, and there's going to be people who's going to uh, uh, stay away uh, to go against it and stay in darkness, man. All right, which is going to lead unto death, man. Okay. Uh, it says, can a devil open the eyes of the blind? And and it was at Jerusalem, the feast of dedication, and it was winter. And Yahweh Shah walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Well, let me jump ahead. Uh, now I'll keep reading. Uh, it says, uh and Yahweh Shah walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long dost thou make us to doubt? If thou be Mashiach, tell us plainly. <laughs> hey, let's see what Yahweh Shah said. It's uh, verse 25. It says, Yahweh Shah answered them, I told you, and ye believe me not. 
the works that I do in my father's name, they bear witness of me. Okay. So the Lord told him, I didn't already tell you and you didn't believe, man. So how am I going to make something plainly to you, man? Okay. Now it, it just came back to me, man, to show you how nuts these Christians are. There was a point I was trying to remember what I heard this guy say. He quoted Matthew 13 and 9 and 10. Okay. Well, he quoted, uh, uh, he quoted uh, uh, Matthew 13 and 10. All right. About the disciples coming unto the Lord and asking, uh, why are you speaking unto them into parables? So I'm already waiting on him to finish the next line upon line. But no, this is what he read. <laughs> um, uh, no, Salaki, that's not what uh, that's what he stated. But then he said, after I'm waiting for him to say what well, how was I said, which I read uh, in the first uh, first scripture of this lesson. All right. No, he quoted Paul. He just mixed up two scriptures and said, I taught you uh, natural things. How can I teach you? Uh, and you believe them not. How can I teach you spiritual? I'm looking around. I'm like, hold on, man. Well, how you just going to you just going to just, just butcher the scriptures and mix two scriptures up. And take something that Paul said and put it in the words of Yahweh Shot, man. Showed you these Christians have no business touching these scriptures, man. Okay, so let's get back to it. It's uh, verse 26. But ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. Separation, division in itself, man. Okay, this is all about the elect, man. Okay, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. I And I give unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Okay, now they was asking the Lord to make it plain. Why are you making us? How long are you going to make us doubt? All right. And this is his response, man. He was basically telling them that you're not of my sheep, man. Okay, my sheep, they hear my voice and I know them and they follow me, man. Okay, and I give them eternal life. Okay, which is through this knowledge, wisdom and understanding, man. So if everybody wasn't set to get it, that mean there was a division set for uh, uh, to cause that that division was set for the sake of the elect receiving salvation and the rest being destroyed on this side, man. OK, I'm going to finish this out. It says my father, which gave them me is greater than all and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. I. I and my father are one. OK, so I'm going to end it right there, man. The point uh, is clearly made that the Lord is about division. That's why he didn't teach everybody plainly so they can understand and receive life through this word, man. OK, so the Lord is about division. All right. So with that, uh, Lord willing, it was edifying. Uh, once again, I want to give all praise, honor and glory unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Ruchak Dash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings. Shalom to the Most High's elect.